I am alive and it is great to be alive. I can't believe I've been doing YouTube for over a year and I haven't even shared my frost build with you guys. I'm sitting here thinking of uh, new ideas and just the other day I did my top three frames for defense missions and frost was on there and I got to thinking, holy crap, I've never shared my frost build and it is a nice one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, I have got rejuvenation, power drift, prime flow, stretch, Blind Rage, Streamline, Transient Fortitude, Intensify, Steel Fiber, and Vitality. So, this is a really fun build. This gets me a power strength of 299%. 299, everybody. You get 740 health. That's pretty good. And 630 armor, which isn't too shabby. Also, the 375 energy is pretty nice because... You won't really have to cast powers a whole lot anyways. And the reason I have Rejuvenation is because I just find Rejuvenation to be a cool mod because um, it not only heals you but also allies. And this becomes surprisingly effective when you consider the fact that if you're playing a defense mission, a lot of people are just going to be camping inside the bubble. So if you take some damage and then you come into the bubble to recover, I can at least provide people with some passive healing just for existing, which I really enjoy. The power trip... Power drift, power trip. We're power tripping, homies. Uh, gives you an extra little 15% of ability strength and chance to resist knockdown, which is kind of nice. So um, this build is focused on just having a really nice bubble, but also due to the, um, it's it's got decent range, 145%. It's actually pretty good for his ultimate ability as well if you want to nuke the map. So I'm going to take him in to capture us so I can actually demonstrate his abilities now real quick. They're only going to be level 50, but uh, eh, you know what? I'm just testing right now. We'll go ahead and spawn them. Here they are. All right. So as you can see, I'm going to demonstrate his ultimate mostly because his bubble just has so much health. Boom. Instantly shattered. It's beautiful. But, you know what, don't take my word for it, let me actually um, go to my abilities so I can tell you exactly how much damage I am dealing. So, his snow globe with this build is going to have 19,883 health, uh, and it's got pretty good size to it as well. Um, some people prefer a smaller bubble, because that means it's getting shot less so it'll last longer, but my complaint with that is that it's just a personal thing for me. It bothers me when you're crowding, like, you know, your entire team into a tiny-ass bubble. So people keep, like, strafing in front of you while you're trying to shoot and stay safe. Uh, I really hate that, and it makes me feel, like, just, I don't know, claustrophobic or something. So this is actually a pretty decent-sized bubble. As you can see, it passes, it well passes the, uh, the doorway here. And then, not quite to the other pillars, but here, let me try to cast it more in the middle of the bridge here. And that is about the power range you're going to get. So as you can see, I have to like run from one side to the other. Pretty nice. And obviously it has great health. I've never used this frost build against anything and been like, Oh my gosh, my frost bubble's just instantly getting decimated. Unless you're staying up to like enemies that are level like 100 or higher, you're, you're not going to have that problem. And then if we look at his ultimate here... Let me see here. Uh, it's got a pretty good radius, 21.75 meters. Um, it doesn't freeze people for very long, but that's okay because it reduces their armor by 119%. Uh, yeah, buddy. It also has an explosion radius of 6.53 meters and explosion damage of 1196. So it's pretty nice. It does a thousand damage and it uh, shreds a ton of their armor and it'll freeze them solid, leaving them open to uh, your teammates' fire and weaponry. So really, really enjoy this frost build. Uh, it's never let me down. I've never been disappointed with it. And to be honest, I've, I've don't really play around with different frost builds all that much because this one just works so well. I can use it not only as an excellent defense frame, but the fact that his ultimate uh, has a lot of high damage and armor reduction with that blind rage makes it very fun to use. This is by far the coolest frost build I will ever come up with. Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. And if you would hit that like button, uh, that really does motivate me to keep making more videos like this and uh, helps improve my mood for the day so you guys want to do me a favor and do that i really do appreciate it i'll see you all in the next video peace out